Next up, she really is the comeback kid, Kay Burley. It was fantastic. We had a really good time. She definitely made an improvement, despite judges' comments. You probably wouldn't even exude warmth if you were on fire. <laughs> the more verbal Jason is about me, the more people pick up the phone and ring. So if he wants to get rid of me, he just needs to zip it, really. Kay and Fred! <laughs> Kay is uh, the comeback kid. But, you know, she's doing good skate. She's skating up to her potential. Determined to make it through for the fifth week running, Kay and Fred are putting everything they have into this week's routine. We are pushing the envelope up in the ante, raising the bar, pulling out all the stops and all of those other clichés that you can come up with. But whilst pushing themselves during rehearsals yesterday, an awkward landing leaves Kay in agony. The lift came down really, really hard. The impact of her foot hitting the ice, I think her spine kind of crunched together a little bit. I hope it's nothing serious. I hope it's more shock than the pain of the injury itself, but I, we really don't know at this point. Oh, I'm sure I'll be on the ice tomorrow. I'm sure that a little fall that's put my back into spasm is not enough to keep me off the ice. Kay does get back onto the ice, but during their final run-through takes another very nasty fall. She's shaken, but just half an hour before the live show, Kay decides she will skate. Stand by your man. Please welcome onto the ice, Kay Burley and Fred Palliser. Twice in the skate offs. This is the flambeau overhead lift with attitude. And you just know that that final low layout spin at the end was running through her mind throughout the whole of that program. But they've pulled it off. How will the judges score? Out of six, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5. Gives them 17.5. Uh, I don't think you've got any marks for bravery there, unfortunately. Um, 
Listen, this has been a really rubbishy week for you, hasn't it? You had a, you, late on, you had a, a, a couple of uh, falls. Not only that, when I arrived this morning, you I was uh, vomiting in a bucket. Yes, because you uh, you'd taken painkillers on an empty stomach. I had. A so bit this of, has been a bad day. Yeah, a bit of a raw hide, but yes. I'm getting through it. Was there a moment where you thought, you know, actually, I might pull out here? Uh, yeah, but Fred came to see me and said, "How are you doing? And do you want to go through stuff? And how do you feel about it?" And he was confident that the lift would. Go up, which is always the most scary bit. Were you worried about it? Though? Yes, yeah. yes. It's always, <laughs> it's always worrisome. But, you know, Kay and I, we're, we're good at performing and we usually pull it off when we need to. So and well that done. was Jason's best score for me. Yeah, well, you see, you're going up. You're going up. Holly. Well, with a competition for bravery, there'd be sixes across the board, but there's not. Karen, what can she do to compete with the others? Well, I think, first of all, I, amongst everybody else, really admire your courage and determination and hard work are two of the main reasons you're here. It's difficult. It's a real hard learning curve and it's difficult to keep up and play catch up. But I think you did really well and full respect to what you've done. Thank you Thanks, very Karen. Much. And Jason, she was very pleased with the markets, your highest score yet. Yes, I mean, it was one of your best performances. Thank you. Overall. Thank you. However, what I did notice, and I, I mean, it's obvious that you've taken a lot of falls and, and that song is Stand By Your Man and I say it's more Stand By Ambulance with UK <laughs> because you've taken a lot of falls and I do commend you for getting out there. But what it did show tonight was that you were petrified. So you weren't able to let yourself go in the performance. Well... As I always say every week, if we're here next week, I'll try even harder. Well, I do have a theory on that. I mean, I think people are probably keeping you in for two reasons. Oh. It's because you have a dashing male partner, or it's because we want to see what you're going to injure next week. Oh, <laughs> Well, all the king's horses and all the king's men did put her back together again. If uh, Kay gets your OK, then pick up that phone with the lines open a little bit later. It's Kay and Fred! <laughs> We've seen three performances so far. It's time for a quick look at the leaderboard. Duncan and Maria with 24.5, Claire and Andre on 22, and Kay and Fred at the moment on 17.5. Very early days, that's how the judges have ranked them. But you, of course, have the power to change all that when the lines open at the end of the show. With fewer and fewer stars, your votes are getting more and more crucial. Still to come, Lisa Scott Lee goes all out for your votes, and Lee Sharp goes line dancing. See you after the break.